Hi guys. Okay, so I know that it's been like a hot second before I've made a YouTube video. I've been MIA in the past few weeks. I just took my nap late a week ago from when I'm recording this. I took it on April 16th um, and I've just been busy. I've been doing my clinicals, but here I am to talk to you about my clinical year and how it's going at Lincoln Memorial. Just to remind you guys, or in case you're new to my page and this is the first time you're ever watching me, I'm a fourth year student at St. George's University, which means that I go to school in the Caribbean, in Grenada, but for my last year, I have to come back home to the States to complete my clinical year. Um, and so I chose Lincoln Memorial. And so that's why I said, my clinical year is at Lincoln Memorial. So to give you guys some background, Lincoln Memorial is one of the newer vet schools in the sense that it's been in created since 2010. Um, some of the other ones that are even more new are Long Island University and New York, Texas Tech in Texas, and the University of Arizona, which I think is in Tucson. Um, and so all four of those are some of the new, the, are the newest vet schools, but Lincoln Memorial is like the pioneer of the new vet schools in the sense that you do your three years traditionally at the university on their campus. But in their fourth year, they don't have the big teaching hospital like the University of Georgia, Auburn, Texas A&M, um, UC Davis, Colorado State. So in your final year at these schools, what you do is they have clinical affiliates. And so you still have your, your blocks, you still have your clinical requirements that you have to fulfill, but it gives you a lot of freedom For Lincoln Memorial, I chose it because I wasn't ready to move back home to Atlanta. Not that I had to, I didn't have to go to Georgia. Um, a common misconception is that um, if you go to your in-state school, you'll get in-state tuition. Like, no, you're still paying, I'm still paying tuition to SGU. And I didn't have to go to UGA because that's my home state school. It's just a lot. Some people do go back, try to be closer to home because they have significant others back home or children or just whatever else. Um, and then some people just, you know, choose to go to states that they like, they have friends there. But I wasn't ready to go back to UGA, um, bad memories from undergrad not really somewhere i wanted to go back to and then the university of florida had been my number one choice just because being in grenada in the tropics i wanted to stay where it was hot um but then lincoln memorial really appealed to me because i know that i want to go into general practice i know that i don't want to do an internship or residency after school and um I want to be a practice owner. And so for me, I felt that by doing this school, doing this school that I have the option, like, yes, I have my requirements that I have to do, but I felt that I could do this school and I could, for one, go to different cities and move around different places to kind of figure out where I want to live after school. And two, I could go to these different practices, take away their practice management, different styles of medicine, instead of just being in one of those I call them unrealistic teaching hospitals because I feel like you learn like gold standard top tier medicine at the teaching hospitals at school. And I think that's great. You should know what to do if a client has a million dollars to spend on their pet. But I also feel like that's not real world. And like, you're just going through all of these specialties and yes, and I mean, this is biased because I've never experienced this, but this is just my opinion on it. Um, and there's nothing wrong with it because I know most vet students will experience this, but I just felt that for what I'm interested in, I would take away more doing this experience. I also, which I can talk about this in a whole different video in itself, I feel that the way that the vet teaching hospitals are, are very toxic, and this is just very similar to like, even in the human medical world, like I feel like it's very, oh, you're a student, this is what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to work these 20 hour shifts and be on call all night. But it's like, when do you have time to study for your board's exams? When do you have time to just, you know, take a mental break. Like, I, I think it's very interesting that throughout, you know, your basic science years, they're telling you prioritize your, you know, your work-life balance and, you know, prioritize your mental health. But then that just goes out the window with clinical year. And so I, I personally was not looking forward to that and I have not experienced that. Hence why I'm sitting here making this video because so far I've had every weekend off. It's April and I started my clinical rotations in January. It's, the, it's mid to the end of April. It's end of April, it's April 24th. I've not worked one single weekend. But again, I can talk about that in a whole different video if you would like. Um, but so 
how are my clinics going? Now, just because I wanted to do Lincoln Memorial doesn't mean everything is a walk in the park. So I'm gonna give you some pros and cons. So I'm gonna go through the pros of what I like so far. So what I do like is again, the flexibility with my schedule. Um, there were certain requirements that I have and how it works with any of the clinical um, clinical schools is that you have to satisfy SGU's requirements and that school's requirements. So you're kind of like that school student. Like I have a Lincoln Memorial email address. A lot of my classmates have their school's email address. They have new badges, new white coats, everything. Um, so it's kind of like you're their student, but at the same time, like your degree, your tuition, all of that is still SGU. So you have to satisfy both requirements, which most people like it's usually it's automatic. You're going to you're going to like um, do that. And so I liked for Lincoln Memorial is that I could create my own schedule and do those things even outside of that. So Lincoln Memorial gives you the option to choose three new clinical sites like whether like if they're not affiliated with them so for me like i was like this is my chance to go wherever the heck i want and then even still lincoln memorial again being the pioneer of this new school they have hundreds of clinical affiliates in like multiple states and multiple cities so again another pro is that you get to move around you get to travel which can also be a con which i'm gonna speak on that in a little bit um another pro that i've liked is that for the most part like i've had like very very good clinical experiences so far um i'm in love with one of the clinics that i've gone to so far it's an all cat clinic and i'm actually gonna apply there um so it's it's like weird because i'm like wow it's my last year it's like i should be applying for jobs and stuff um another pro is that again because you're in these normal practices i'm not on call for the most part if i'm there monday through friday they're like okay you know the week's over go be a student go enjoy your life like while you're still a student and you're not a working adult yet so i get weekends off and that's really been helpful like studying for the navli because i see my classmates that have to be at the hospital rounding at 6 7 a.m and then their shift might not end until 7 p.m but then they're on call until four in the morning it's just ridiculous i'm like how do you sleep at night how do you eat how do you gym study, take your dog for a walk, like anything. So all of those things have like really, really been like positive things and I'm like really enjoying it. It's giving me a lot of freedom um, with my own things, like just like working out a lot um, lately. I've been able to see my girlfriend more um, as opposed to me just being tied down at this one school. And um, I just have like a very flexible and very curated schedule. So I would say those are the pros. Now the cons, because there is a bad side to everything. The cons are that, again, this is a new concept. The traditional vet school way of things is not how Lincoln Memorial or all of these new schools are doing it. So there's still some wrinkles that need to be ironed out in this. And like, you know, when problems arise, they're solving these problems. So like, for example, I don't know what happened, but not the rotation that I am right now, but the one before that was supposed to be my mandatory shelter rotation. Um, and how the shelter rotations work is that um, Lincoln Memorial has affiliates with certain shelters in different cities. Um, so Tampa is one and it's, 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 a, it's a shelter outside of Tampa. Um, there's one in Buffalo, New York. There's one in Tennessee. There's one in San Antonio, Texas and one in like Kentucky. You have to go to one of those. So those are like one of the flexible ones which you have to do. But I've been in Tampa now for 12 weeks. So I chose that one. About two days before I should have reported to this shelter rotation, I got an email saying that um, there, there wasn't enough, there was poor staffing at the shelter and now they're not able to accommodate all the students. Now, I have my own opinions about this because I'm like, why me? You know, how many people did you cut out? And like, again, me being a January start at SGU, I'm not graduating in May. I don't graduate until the end of December, January. So I personally feel I got booted as an island student that is not about to graduate as opposed to the Lincoln Memorial students that needed that rotation to graduate in a month. Um, but besides the point, it was very frustrating because I'm like, well, I'm in Tampa now. I'm not coming back to Florida. Like I don't have Florida anywhere else in my rotations. They tried to throw me at a rotation in Texas that I did not want to do. Um, and so luckily, um, the Atlanta Humane Society has become a, an affiliate with them. So later in the year, I get to actually go home for four weeks. So that was like a con. It's like hiccups in the road. 
Another downfall is the travel. Um, for some people, that thought of moving around for every rotation or just having to move around in general is not appealing. And one thing I tell people is that I chose to have a flexible schedule and move around. Like for me, I thought this was a great idea. It's like, woohoo, master road trip. Like I'm literally going from the east to the west coast and back. Um, but for some people that like stresses them out, they wanna stay in one spot. And so it can be expensive. You have to consider gas, you have to consider housing because Lincoln Memorial is not giving you housing. And like people ask me like, do they give you housing? Like, no, like if I were at, you know, UGA, University of Florida, Tennessee, like I would have to find my own apartment. They wouldn't be giving me free housing. Um, so that's like kind of a con and it kind of sucks even more when you have a pet because that limits where you can stay too is finding a pet friendly place. I was lucky that I'm here in Tampa right now for 12 weeks. It's the longest place that I am going to be this whole time. Um, and I was able to find this housing on a travel nursing site, which I could do again, a whole spill video about how I found housing this year. Um, and it's been nice. Like I'm here in a full house living with two other night nurses that are hardly ever here. I usually have this house to myself. It's been great. But for some people like that's very stressful. It's stressful for me because I still haven't even found housing for the next place that I'm going, um, especially with how the housing market is right now and just considering gas and moving around. So you, there are hub cities that Lincoln Memorial has and so you can like do 70 to 80 percent of your rotations there and for some people who don't want to move that's great because you can pretty much stay in this one city the most time get a long-term lease and then you know for those few rotations you have to do in certain places that are mandatory you know you just go there for like a month or two and lastly the only other bad experience that I've personally had is that I feel that um, we had a lot of orientation with Lincoln Memorial like before like clinical started but then when clinical started we were just kind of like thrown in and like my first rotation was one of the mandatory ones but it was like an accessory it was like a two-week pathology one at the University of Kentucky which everyone has to do it was really cool it's like necropsy it was what I made my video on um, a few months ago and then followed by a two-week online imaging one and so with that rotation there was wasn't a lot of the paperwork and re like requirements that most of the other rotations require. And so when I got to my second one, the lady who like monitors your like case logging and stuff was just coming for my life like almost every day of that rotation. And I was just like, you know, I wasn't told these things. My first rotation wasn't even like a real like inside clinical rotation. And I was like, never did they ever tell us that we were gonna have to do X, Y, and Z. And some of my friends have told me they've had similar issues. I made a friend at Ross, he told me he had a similar issue. So that was like annoying. Um, and I feel like for, in general, like coming from the Caribbean schools, like you are basically going to a whole new school again. You have to readjust, you have to meet new people. And that's another thing with Lincoln Memorial that could be a downside is that you don't have that support because you're going to different clinical affiliates. Even if you were in the same city, you're moving around so much. You're not staying in one place. So like, it's hard to make friends. I have no friends here in Tampa. Uh, luckily my aunt and my uncle and cousin live here. But outside of that, like, I don't know anyone. I don't have anyone to hang out with on the weekends. Um, you are moving around so much so you know you don't have people to study with you don't have like the consistency like if i were going to just one school at least i would stay seeing the same faces in the hospital and like i would know some people from my school so i would say that's a downfall but it's also going to be something that regardless of what like if you're coming from one of the like sg or ross like you're gonna have to adjust no matter where you go so overall, I would say I'm having a good clinical experience. Like the clinical sites I've been at so far have been wonderful. I've loved all of the doctors that I've worked under. Um, like every rotation, I'm like, oh my gosh, like the next place, like how are they gonna top that last one? But I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. And I have some other video ideas that I'm going to be sharing soon. And if you would like to know more about how I feel about certain things, like please leave suggestions under this video, send me DMs or messages on my Instagram. I sent, set up a poll on my Instagram and so I got quite a bit of responses. So I have a list of some videos, but like, please send me more. Like now that I've taken my Navli, I have like a lot of free time. And like I said, on the weekends and after work, I'm very lonely because I don't have many friends where I am. So if I'm not on the phone with my parents or my girlfriend or someone else, like I'm literally just sitting here. Like I've been going to the gym like a freaking junkie. Like my, the gym is my fun time, my free time. I go to the gym for like 
two hours or sometimes like twice a day. But um, yeah, so I would love to share more with you about my clinical experience, how I'm studying and everything. And whether you're at SU, whether you're looking in the vet school, whether you're at another vet school and you just want some tips, like I'm always here. And please follow my assortment of social medias. I say assortment. It's really just Instagram and TikTok. I mean, I don't really post on my Facebook like that, but I do get some people who message me there. So I always list it. Um, and until then, keep being awesome. Stay safe. COVID's still out there, but it's, I don't know, forgotten, under control. No one cares anymore. So stay safe, stay happy. And until next time.